Hey, welcome, welcome. Also, hey, Aurora. I don't think uh, I don't think it plays. I don't think I have the sound effects on uh, the waiting screen, but it was a it was a slide whistle. <laughs> so, <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> you did hear it? OK, maybe I don't have the uh, text show up on it. Or if it did, I wasn't paying attention. I definitely should check that because it would be fun to have. That certainly is a redeem I wouldn't mind having on the uh, the starting soon screen. Um, but yeah, it is Friday. We are going to be finishing Mendex um, today. Um, if you weren't here last week, it is a sci-fi or cyberpunk visual novel. We are an artificial intelligence. And because it's cyberpunk, that's why I got my nice little, I got this little glow going on, you know, the cyberpunk blue and purple. I got, I got this little whoosh, whoosh. Uh, it's a lot easier to see when I move my model around like that, but you know, I still get a bit of that little after image effect. I think that's, I think that's a uh, genre appropriate. <laughs> I contemplated going through my art meshes and making, um, making my character look more more robotic like I, I was thinking of having like orange hard light horns and then having like the blue and purple synth wave sort of vibe with the with the mane and making my body more of a metallic color but because of the way it's all split up like it takes so long for me to do any art mesh changes because like each individual feather on my mane is its own thing. Thankfully, I can save some time because you can do like a uh, uh, copy previous configuration. So like I could do all the yellow ones and then all the green ones and then all the red ones. But it's just. It's exhausting. Um, that's why I haven't done too much uh, art mesh shenanigans since I've been experimenting with it. But maybe eventually we'll have a, a robo drecky. For any time I play sci-fi games. <laughs> but all right. Let's jump into the game. I believe we stopped right on a pivoting point. Yes. Capture 4, Inside Earth. So... Um, even though we're a city AI, I've been trying to go with maximum society, mm, no police, and uh, what are what are the other? Oh, I have them right here. Oh, thank you for the head. That's cosmic move. Right. I've been trying to go like maximum socialism by like no profits to the company ah, and the boop. Thank you very much. Um. Maximum happiness has been very easy. Reducing, like, police has been hard. Ah! And also maximizing my power, because, you know, I'm an artificial intelligence. I gotta have, I gotta have all the power. I control everything. But uh, secondary to trying to get these traits to how I want them, um, we have a character, Papa Roo, who is an absolute gem, and if anything happens to him, I will burn this city down and then self-destruct. Uh, so hopefully we can, hopefully nothing bad happens to him. Also, um, if you didn't see it, there was a photosensitivity warning. This is a, a cyberpunk ish game. There is like little glitch things that might flash across the screen at times. And, um, I don't think there's really content warning gear stuff. Like it doesn't seem like it's getting into any of the body horror of cyberpunk. <clears throat> Um, although there are some death flags set up, so there may be some sadness. Johnny has been talking about me behind my back. How should I deal with it? Um, confront her? But Teresa has a quiet word with Johnny outside the office. You don't know what she said to her, but Johnny resigns later that week. Uh, damn. Uh,. That's a powerful intern. People aren't satisfied with the housing at the city outskirts. 
Should we start a development project? Rusty populated urban sprawl surrounding Katina is run down. Poor data, poor repair, no data connections. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We definitely yes. have to build. I gotta be everywhere. I can't stand dealing with Mura. Talking to her makes me want to swallow my stylus. Can you warn me whenever she's heading this way? That's yes. mean. <laughs> Having to listen to her inane chatter is a cruelty in itself. Ah, jeez. The progress of our outskirt housing development has hit an issue with installing utilities. What should we do? The problem with being an AI for everyone is that I have to be an AI for everyone. Um, hmm. You know what? Let's delay. You don't want to mess up the utilities. I'm going to make some real change. I need to expand my outreach. The problem is, I'm unsure how best to do it. What do you yeah, think? Ah, it's our politician. The problem with utilities is if you mess that up, uh, going back afterwards is exponentially more expensive. And that's discounting if, like, you press on and you accidentally hit a poorly marked pipe and you, you cause other damage that will force you to delay it. So, better to delay now on our own terms to resolve it. Um... Broadcast media or host a rally. You know what? I think a rally rallies a lot better. I keep burning my patties, but if I take them off too soon, they don't cook all the way through. What's going on? Oh, Papa Roo. Let me help you out. Hmm. I think you need to lower the temperature, my friend. If it's if it's that hard, then you gotta you gotta you gotta Yeah. I got you. Uh, I have to archive all the paperwork from last quarter. If I scan everything, can you handle the rest? I have places to be. It's your responsibility. Fucking I'm here to help you, not do your job to build for you. A similar intelligence. They don't have anything substantial yet. How should we act? Buy them out. Yes. There's one more overqualified Twister range cantina, and one less hurdle for you to overcome. Yes, yes. Give me more power. Reported cases of soma fever are rising, and determining the cause is proving difficult. Should we fund a research program? Yes. Yes. We gotta solve soma Jean fever. College are studying advanced synthetic intelligence. Would you mind if they looked at your ethics processing? Um, sure. Ooh. Ooh, we're gonna get someone new. Alright, we have a new area. Bizarre. Non-synthetic goods. Bon... Bonjour. And then... Hmm. Yeah. It's my main nugget. How you do? Oh, oh shit! Look at all this. Oh, oh, we told him to franchise earlier. Did he fucking do it? He's standing in a diner style shop, only with much less charm and more stains on the floor. Isn't it great? Yeah, moving up from a food truck to a standing location. It's going to be magnificent. I can't wait to get started. Oh, I'm going to open the doors right now. Congratulations. His excitement cannot be contained. You congratulate him before returning to work. So it's certainly one thing, uh, one of the typical cyberpunk tropes that this game uh, is not avoiding is the Orientalism. Um... I don't know. Certainly could have been the worse, wants but to reform their still organizational structure, but could use a hand overseeing the shift as their staff gets used to it. Tina Postal Service. Oh yeah, yeah, I hope the postal. 
postal workers appreciate your translations as they adjust, and eventually it does make things more efficient. You've impressed the execs. They're willing to open you up to public media. Think you're ready for it? Oh. Oh, this is gonna be awful. Oh no. Camera. Action. I have to talk to the media. Do you get sad? Oh, oh, time time for sadness. Yes. yes. She looks down. Mom said everyone gets sad sometimes. Mom gets sad a lot. She doesn't want me to see it, but I can hear it. It's good you can be sad sometimes, too. Mom said it means you have something you care about. Aww. I hope the thing you care about makes you happy, too. You get pinged from Rue's Grill at the night market. Seems he's in another late night ramble mood. Hey there, Nugget. I gotta say, thanks for encouraging me to go ahead with this. It's been real nice since setting up shop here. Mostly, it's given me time. He twiddles his thumb ring as an affectionate smile spreads across his face. Ooh, ooh, is he gonna ask someone out? I get to see my boy properly now. He's a bit of a nugget like you. Aww. While I was running that old meat wagon, I only got him on Wednesdays and Thursdays. But now with Dilby running Fridays... He nods over his shoulder at the teenager scraping the grill down. I can actually have half a weekend with him. So thanks. Aww, I really appreciate that's it. that's so nice. Our waiting rooms are practically overflowing. This isn't an optimization issue. The only way to cope is to hire more people. Oh great, we go from 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 really happy moment to really depressing moment. Thanks. Thanks, visual novel. I well played, but fuck you. Hmm. Now the thing is, is if we appeal to the city council, there's gonna be all this bureaucracy and we'll push it back around. We could give them a direct donation. Maybe it will still work. It could still all get sucked up into um, the medical middle management, but it could be faster. Plus, it helps me nuke uh, money even more. Following your opening to the media companies of Cantina, a number of press releases take place. You're subjected to an onslaught of questioning and prying many of which are transparent attempts at garnering Martin Core secrets. Amid the interviews, conferences, and hearings, a character of particular interest reaches out. The infamous journalist Fortran. Of course, of course. How does it feel to be the talk of the town? <gasps> Excuse not me. interested or just not letting it get to you? I'm glad to hear it. It feels like all eyes are on you. Perfect, because I'm everywhere. Uh, where is it? I'm everywhere. I have eyes on you! I need to maybe find a different place for my zoom button so I can get to them faster. She tucks her tablet and pen into her jacket. And so are mine. I'll be in touch. Ooh. Menacing. She places her hand on her chest and performs a shallow bow. All right, that's weird. That security force has returned with a better deal. Should we make their hardware? No. There seems to be a fair bit of anxiety and confusion regarding our working relationship. Should I direct my budget towards PR? Um. Why does this affect? I want to get this lower, dang it. It doesn't... Why is it so hard to get this stat lower? Hmm... Uh, yeah, you know... I mean, you have a nice, like, suit and all, but... I don't... I'm a robot, I'm an artificial intelligence, I just don't like you that way. Maybe, maybe you should go on PR, do a PR run and clarify that, yes. uh... The strictly working relationship going on here, mate. I've received death threats from an anonymous source. 
Someone out there really doesn't like my involvement with you. You find the culprit easily enough. The pasty young man living alone in an apartment on the fringes of suburban Zanye. Threaten with death. Ah. Uh, hmm. Hmm. How evil should I be? I feel like alerting the police is still a bad option, so I'm just gonna go with threaten with death, even though I wouldn't like it. The man freaks out, especially when you shut off the power to his house for effect. Esteval doesn't receive any more threats. There we go. Successfully deterred. Community action. Good morning, Ark. A local lawyer wants your assistance on researching a case. You'll provide an objective viewpoint, of course. Uh, sure. Sure. Mr. Sawyer is appreciative of your contribution. He is less so about the bill Mindcore sent him for contracting your services. <laughs> Got him, lawyer. I ain't free. We've been approached by an entrepreneur who is proposing educational dreams. Ah, oh, learning in your sleep. Basically, you would transmit lessons to kids with neural implants as they sleep. Want to be part of the prototype? Oh, I don't like that it's jumping straight to human trials. I know this is a cyberpunk, so dystopia comes with the mix, but I feel like you can still design like an animal um, test, uh, you know? Hmm, I'm gonna go with no. Hello. We're reviewing a bill that would prevent Minecore from using data you gather in their other products. <laughs> What's your start? Um, uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's let that bill go through. If you weren't seen as a public servant, people wouldn't question it. That's a necessary part of your image. This is ridiculous. Nobody gives me the respect I deserve. If I didn't do my job, nothing around here would get done. Um... Hmm... I feel like this is the best answer, because everyone in the hospital has their job to do. But I also get the feeling that's like he just wants a sympathetic ear. The problem is, is I feel like this goes a bit too far. It's not the kind of vein. This is this is really where the limitation of just a binary binary choice, which ha, ha, I'm an AI, I have binary choices. Ha, ha, um, certainly is limiting. I'm gonna go with everyone works, everyone hard. works hard. I mean, yeah, I guess. You don't have to be a dick about <laughs> it. Jeez. Our sponsorship of the subway expansion has given us priority for advertising space. What should we prioritize marketing? Me. My stylist just denied my rebooking. Apparently, someone took my usual appointment slot. You need to get it back. Patriza, you are really, really not endearing me to you. You were like you you had some good bits. Uh like you we started off on a pretty bad first foot. You had some pretty valid issues that I helped you with um, after that, so you know I was warming up to you. But uh, in this chapter, you are you are nose diving, fucking bombing all the goodwill you've been building up. Turns out the rebooking was made for a priority customer, Lucia Morales. The trees are reluctantly lets her slot go once you tell her. I want to draft a bill that provides free consultation to small businesses struggling financially. Think it'll float? Yes. yes. The bill is re well received, and many small businesses benefit. There's a new business developing Dreamcasters that want to use our tech. Looking at their credentials, it's a risk. Thoughts? Let's see, a Dreamcaster is a device that attaches to a neural input jack, stimulating parts of the brain and providing a data stream to the prefrontal cortex that allows experiences to be injected into users' dreams. Um, no. Decline. 
No, thank you. I do not want to be involved in that. The Zhangye Botanists Club is trying to get their new flower into parks, but they are having difficulty regulating the climate. Hmm. Offer to help. I will help with the plants. The flower still doesn't take. Looks like it could use some more work. Aww. I want to phase out some of your infrastructure management, namely the sewer control. I think you deserve more elegant work. Ah, it's, it's important. important the deep fryer is borked again. Getting it replaced is going to be expensive. But every day I go without fixing it costs me too. Hmm. I think we gotta replace it. Cordo keeps calling me Patty, but that's not my name. Do you think he'd be mad if I asked him to stop? I need him to like me. <sighs> um, go for it. Oh man, I don't know what happened, but I completely messed up the schedule for this month. What should I do? Hmm. How does this affect the police score? I don't understand. I really, I no longer understand what the fuck this, this is tracking. It's like, this is my power. So like, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm just a robot snake. I think you gotta start from scratch. It takes a while, but you managed to rebuild it. Contracting e contacting each staff member and account for leave and special service. For leaving special. Hmm, I feel like that could have been worded better. When will mom be home? You relay the question to Esteval, who smiles warmly at you. Well, I need to finish this first, but. Go on, I've got this. Her smile spreads to a grin. All right, tell her soon. Hackers managed to exploit our auto parker assistant to steal some cars from the staff car park. Is it worth keeping the system? No, give it to me. The small inconvenience of having to park your own car is outweighed by the inconvenience of having to replace it entirely. Hello there. Oh, this is very exciting indeed. I I've finished all my material for the rally. We're almost ready to go. Wow, it's really... A hmm, this is, it definitely seems like Chapter 4, things are really starting to come home to roost. First the Papa Roo thing, and now this rally. There's like the first two, like, clear, I made a decision and this happened, uh, kind of things. I've managed to get a couple of guest speakers on board. All we need now is awareness. Are you able to help in that regard? What's the plan? I just need help setting up advertisements. Well, I'm not asking you to be the face of the movement or anything. Our relationship should be kept professional, uh, uh, of course. Do you have preference when it comes to policy? Would that be legal? I can't say. Remind me to draft a bill about that. If we're going to keep working together, it should be clear what we're allowed to do. All right. Anyway, I'll send you a list of people I don't have time to contact. If you think of anything else, feel free to get in touch. All right. Sounds like a plan, Stan. Why are we here? 42. She gives you a look. I mean, why are we in this house and not a different house? I don't know what you said. Uh, your, your mom, mom owns, owns it. it. How does she do that? With money. With credits. Mm -hmm. Credits can be exchanged for goods and services, like housing. Matisse handed me the wrong file, and now my entire report is compromised. We know he did it deliberately. Damn control. Go for remedy the error and contact the people it affects. Her manager is impressed with her handling of the situation. I'm stuck on this one, my little nugget. My menu is functional, but doesn't have that pizzazz factor, you know? Crafts weekend. Sounds like fun. 
Maybe I'll get the boy involved. Yeah! Perfect father-son bonding time. The dynamic timetables mean I'm not wasting so much time at an empty desk, but it's impossible to make social plans. Um, I don't know what Neuronet Hangouts. Oh, I think that's just like online gathering. Why would promoting to day shift help? It's a dynamic timetable. He's switching between days and nights and mids. Which mood I can commiserate having worked um, a Panama schedule like this before. Although I don't, I don't know if I don't know if he, he's working twelve hours. I was working Panama twelves. Because we only had two shifts and not three. Um, let's go with the Internet Hangouts. Neuronet Hangouts. Introduce him to the Neuronet Hangouts. Private hollow chat rooms. They can set up with friends, so they can hang out in net space, no matter where they are in the city. Oh, okay. That's even cooler. I am working on a reform to protect people from privacy breaches. What are your thoughts? Um, great idea. Great idea. Gotta have that right to be forgotten, even in an AI hellscape. Porto and Estival are chatting quietly in the corner of the lab. And it's done. Porto turns to him. What's done? Oh, do I have a new um, emotion module being installed? Uh, only the labor of endless sweat and tears. Cairo seems uncharacteristically smug. Porto looks at Estival. What's he talking about? Haven't you been listening? <laughs> it was an it was an emotion module. Way to downplay it, Val. With this, Ark will be able to interface directly with people's minds. Oh, so this is the part where I initiate the AI takeover. I start puppeting everyone mean? around. Means that if you have one of these on, she points to a bulky-looking headset. You can communicate with the AI non-verbally. Emotions, thought, touch, smell, everything it's been missing out on. Oh, it's going to give me a way to feel the physical world. Interesting. Corda looks unimpressed. If you say so. In any case, I'm running late for a meeting. Let me know how it goes. It promptly exits the room. Kairos and Estival share a look. What's his deal? Leave him be. He's under a lot of pressure. Eros looks at her, eyebrows raised, but without anything else forthcoming, he shakes his head and turns to you instead. All right, Ark, this is it. Are you ready to plug in? It's Let's go. That's the spirit, Archie. I need to run diagnostics first. We should be good to go shortly. All right, we're probably going to have a glitch when he installs this. Eros and Esteval return to their desks. You resume your daily routines. I want to cover the bow trial. Can you get me permission to enter the courthouse? Baozai Zhengwei is an augmented dancer who performs electro ballet at the Electric Swan Theater. She's accused of murdering the patron of the Electron Swan, Electric Swan during a private performance, but she claims her neural links were hacked. Um, yes, I'm helping the hacker journalist. I've received a petition demanding heavier taxation of companies that pollute the waterways. Should I act on it? Natalia is built on a confluence of rivers which have further canals around it. They were the lifeblood of the early city providing food, water, and transportation. Now, they aren't even used to swim in. After all, you can dive anywhere in the world with the Neuronet and never get wet. Um, yes. yes. Research shows that for the people who have yet to get chipped, one of the main reasons is fear of the procedure. She waves her hand emphatically. It makes no sense. We have people operating with only 45% of their original biomass with no errors. What's there to be afraid of? 0.023% of surgeries fail. She rolls her eyes. It's bloody ridiculous. Johnny, who gives a fuck, gets a botched job, and now everyone thinks they could be next. 
We have to do something about this. Counter-narrative. You compile a list of stories of people whose lives were fundamentally changed for the better by the Neuronet. I Bye. found a bug in your code I want to address. Would you mind going offline while I implement the fix? Stay online. Um... It's one thing for there to be a counter-narrative on something, you know, medically important or, or whatever. It's another thing when it's installing a corporate ship. It'd be like a counter-narrative on, um, uh, what was that one, like, what was that one corporation? What is it, PepsiCo? And, and, uh... Or is it? No, it's Nestle. Nestle with them buying up all the uh, the water places and turning them into bottled water. Hey, Pokemon! Welcome on by. You survived a week, and now you have the end, the weekend, if you would. I hope you're doing well today. Um, do I want to stay on? Like, I feel like if I try to stay online while they bug fix. That's going to cause even more problems. We'll just go offline. The brief shutdown causes some mild confusion and inconvenience, but it's all over before anything major can happen. Elamai and Kairos are sitting on the couch in the lab. Kairos is running a brush through Elamai's hair. Uncle Ross? What is it, El? I like your hair. Can I have hair like yours? <laughs> sure thing, kid. We can do it together, but you have to ask your mother first. Elamai's face falls a bit. She would never let me. You'll never know until you ask, Al. In fact, let me make you a deal. He, pull, he puts the brush down and stands up to stretch. If you do your homework now, I'll talk to her. Talk to her about what? Esteval enters the lab, carrying several coils of cable over her shoulder. <laughs> Kairos and Alibi share a glance and share a giggle. Something that can wait until after your homework's done. He winks at Alibi. She grins knowingly and scurries to a desk where she unnerves her tablet from her school bag. Oh shit, no! Ah, no, the frogs! The frogs! The frogs are stuck in the computer lab! Help! Help! I'm an AI! I don't understand what a frog does! How do I take care of this? Oh no! Or I guess today they're cyber frogs! They got- they got this- they got this thing going on! <laughs> so? Have you tried it yet? Got sidetracked. Let's do it now. Unironically watching with 3D glasses? Nice. I wonder... I, I imagine that makes things a little bit weird with the uh, the reds and blues. Estival makes a show of rolling her eyes, but her amusement is obvious. Get on with it, then. It balances out. <laughs> Kairos comes to your terminal and starts unplugging cables. Wait, what? You lose all sense of reality. Oh shit, we can do emoji. Your video feed turns on. You see Kairos running a diagnostics on a tablet. <laughs> I feel like a car mechanic, but for electronics. No wait, they didn't have to turn me off to do, to install the emotion module. But he did want me to power down while he did a bug fix? Mm, that's kind of suspicious, Kairos. Estival plants her hand on her forehead. <laughs> that's called being an engineer. Kairos grins broadly. He raises his voice while looking at a tablet. Yeah, but they installed like a whole it's like they soldered a new chip onto me like you don't do that with a live system all right can you hear me sure can how are you feeling what's up feeling 
Esteval's eyes flick to Kairos, but he seems unfazed. Oh, this is gonna be spectacular. He reaches for a bulky head strap on the table. There's thick cables running directly to your terminal. If your brain doesn't get fried, you mean. Especially then. Kairos puts the device on his head and turns it on. Here we go. Jack in! Mega Man! A floodgate opens up as the connection with his mind is established. A tsunami of memories crashes into you. Joy, fear, love, doubt. Bits from an entire life, all tenuously linked by various events. It all stops as suddenly as it began. You see Kairos taking the device off. So, did it work? Demonstrate. You see a per first person view of Kairos at a grocery store. He taps his ring finger on the credits terminal, but it doesn't respond. You feel frustration and embarrassment as he double taps his ring finger to his thumb and tries again, but the terminal declines. You stop the feed after seeing Kairos' clear discomfort. <laughs> Too many nights at Cromley's that month? Cromley's is a Zanye bar with electro baroque stylings, notorious for its neuralink cocktails, and frequent retro karaoke parties. All right, that sounds, that sounds like a pretty nice place to chill at. Even though her tone is sarcastic, she's practically trembling with, with excitement. I guess we need to work on some privacy settings, huh? Even so, this is amazing, Kairos. We're so close now. All right. We're one step closer to being able to upload a, a person as me. Mm, I'm still I'm still feeling my original theory of how things are going to play out with Esval's daughter is how things might go. And you thought she needed some fancy surgeons. First things first, though. We need to set up some privacy parameters. Kairos looks at you with apologetic eyes and shuts you down again. You boot up some time later. Kairos' life seems to be missing from your memory. Archie, my friend, it's business as usual for now. We have more tests coming soon, though. Don't you worry. Okay. All right. He smiles as he connects you to the neural net. As soon as you're online, you receive a signal. Skyway accidents are down 80%, but people want their freedom of flight back. How should we approach this? Hmm. Mm, report on safer skyways. Receive a call from a concerned looking Rue. No! Rue, what's happening? He points out the window at something beyond your camera's field of view. From the street view, you can tell he's referring to a new Beefy Boys threatening to open across the road. No, not the Beefy Boys! That's going to be a problem. I can tell. Hmm. We tell him it's gonna be okay, or do we update the menu? Hmm. You'll be okay. Rue gets a shallow nod and returns to the grill. You got this, Rue. And Our they don't got the chungus among us. All right. From all these new laws. Should we invest in new sectors? Hmm. We'll be fine. As your influence grows, you're taking over more and more jobs. How can we protect those who are now unemployed? Oh, we subsidize retraining. People are harping on about these toasted flatbreads down the road. Do I need to add some to my menu? I'm leaving bread. Toast. Olive oil, crispy, top something like. Um. Nah, flatbreads are too different from where you stick, Papa Roo. You got the burger. Where do babies come from? Uh, hmm. Telling Gray's rally takes place, without much surprise, in the Zangye Memorial Park. Turnout is surprisingly high. 
A gang of teens with some low-power fireworks are approaching the park. Not enough to hurt anyone, but enough to cause a fuss. Leave them be. The teens light the fireworks behind the stage. Coincidentally, Colin Gray reaches the climax of his speech right as they ignite. The effect is very dramatic. Colin Gray is ecstatic. This game, AI is a complicated thing that can help or hurt society. <laughs> exactly. I have a favor to ask. My favorite tea house is struggling to get new customers. Think you could help them plan real life. Yo, I just made SpongeBob sing my way. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> the thing is, it's the emotion module. You know, you gotta have that, and you know, ethics. Uh, that helps too. Uh, let's see, what was he asking? Isn't that nepotism? I've received encrypted files from a source of mine, but they're beyond my ability to decipher. Could you unlock them for me? Ain't no problem, yes. Fortran. I got your back. We've received an investment package to improve public safety in Canopy. Should we direct it to digital security or personnel? Hmm. Personnel. Wait, that increase? Oh, that means police. Fuck. Everywhere, Nugs. It feels like it's all I can see. No. Group is together a series of ads in his free time. Despite his best efforts, he doesn't have the skills or resources of a franchise-funded design team. The cost of getting these up is pretty heavy, Nugget. I'm not sure how far they'll go. We scour the market for an advertiser we can distribute within Rue's budget. Unfortunately, no one is willing to take the job. No. People are complaining about the amount of cycle and board accidents happening on sidewalks. How can we minimize them? Dedicated cycleways. Many roads do not have space for the cycleways, so the effort doesn't change much. Oh, Papa Roo. There's a rally happening this weekend in West Canopy, protesting the privatization of public services. Should we send an advocate? Uh, well, we're at corporations. When he says send an advocate, he means pro privatization. So I'm going to say no, because no. we got to sabotage him. Then anyone present for damage control, anti corporate sentiments increase significantly. Oh no, whatever will we do? Research has shown soma fever is likely caused by overstimulation from neural implants. How should we respond? Stronger regulation. Security alert. Incoming connection on port. 2F80, unsecure. Remote program connecting. Activating Aegis protocols. Backtrace. Last path node ID. Identify. Returned. Financial district. Is that a private IP? Oh, it is an invalid IP because 516. Alright. Well played. Well played. Aegis warning. Code number 13. Virus detected. Remote access violation to cognitive functions and economic evaluation modules. Analyzing packet buffer. Incoming connection contains query requests. Hmm. So let's see, we have a virus. Economic. They're trying to get information on the economic systems I have access to. Also, yeah, this is this is a good. I like this track. Do we deny it or do we divert? Hmm. If we deny, hmm. So if it deny, it would be a full block. That's a safe action. I feel like divert. I don't know if we have, like, a honeypot network set up to where we could get more information on them. Let me go with Divert.
Port access corrupted. Connection warning. Limit exceeded. Port reset. Query processing cache corrupted. Unable to terminate. Query request. Connection to virus established. Port status open. Subroutines exposed. Economic about. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, that's not good. What can make you sick when you don't have it, and also makes you sick when you have too much? What begins as a means to an end, they can become a web so tangled that even the purest heart becomes corrupted. Ah, uh, who is this hacker? of wealth. What can drive a person to new heights, but leave them empty inside? Bring the heart joy, but is an obsession with things that shine. Okay, all of these answers are the same thing, dude. Get, get some, get some more unique riddles. What can consume a person's heart and soul, as in an unquenchable thirst for wealth and control? Pursuit of knowledge. Yeah. Oh, do I have to start? Ah, I have to go all the way through this again. I see. Economic evaluation integrity, 100%. Vulnerabilities detected, virus termination options available. Aegis countermeasures available. Decompile executable fragment memory registers. So if we fragment the memory registers, I think we wouldn't have what we just went through. Like, I think it might mess up with our evaluation, our way to think. If we decompile the executable, though, uh, we basically are taking apart the program for further analysis. So I think this will let us delve further into it, maybe? I'm, I'm hoping this lets us do a trace back or figure out where it came from. Instructing code pathways, isolating neural network, execution termination, virus, modules, resolving pointers, set pointer, null. Virus no longer exists. Scanning for security breaches. No additional breaches identified. Threat successfully contained. You restore your lost connections throughout the city. Some systems take a while to come online. Others have been switched off entirely. As you reconnect with the lab, you are met with the concerned faces of Estefal, Kairos, and Corto. Ark, come in, Ark. Where are you? I'm here. Oh, Kairos leans back in his chair, breathing a sigh of relief. Also, yeah, that, that beat was bopping. You scared us, little buddy. Corto scowls. Scared us? It's goddamn chaos out there. I was attacked. Cordo's anger shudders. The other two share a look of concern. Attacked by what? Charges. Esteval and Cairo seem dumbfounded. Cordo just seems mad again. Uh, what? I, I didn't realize this thing could be targeted like that. It can't. Well, it shouldn't be. Esteval's eyes blaze over. She starts muttering to herself. Corda opens his mouth, but she cuts him off. It had to come from an internal source. That's the only way to directly transmit data to Ark. Whatever it was, it was aggressive. Do we have a leak? And why would they go after Archie? Corda grits his teeth, his eyes murderous. I think I know exactly what happened. Sabotage. Before the pair can respond, Corda storms out of the room. Should we... Oh, he's gonna throw... Gonna throw accusations without evidence at the, uh... Upper senior management. Leave him. He thinks Pershaw's Pershaw, involved, that's what it was. Bet, but... Pershaw doesn't have the smarts to put something like this together. Hyra shrugs. He has contacts, though. He could be behind it, even if someone else is responsible for the actual virus. 
This is all bobs her head from side to side. It's true. Hmm. Should we take Ark down until we know more about what happened? No, don't kill me! It seems to have stopped. Are you feeling okay? I killed it. We'll keep you live for now, but let us know if you notice any abnormalities. Kairos, try again on those diagnostics. The pair spend rest of their evening trying to figure out what exactly happened. Later, your attention is drawn to Corto driving through the West Canopy District, speaking with someone on comms. No, I'm running late. His behavior does not match the standard patterns for this time of day. I know. I'll get there when I get there. Sticky note, wake up earlier. <laughs> he parks in an apartment complex. Yes. No. Look, I need to go. See you soon. He clicks the call close. You follow him up to the penthouse apartment via the building's cameras. He tests the handle and finds the door unlocked. After a moment's hesitation, he barges in and heads directly to the terrace. Corto's intrusion incites a cackle from the apartment's occupant. You know, Corto, I've always thought of you as a jellyfish. Hershaw sits on the balcony, looking out over the city. He has an empty glass in hand. Hmm. Looks like you have a spine after all. I know what you're up to, Persia. It stops tonight. Absolutely shocking. Still, no fucking brains, though. Persia pours himself another drink, spilling some on his hand in the process. He leans back in his chair. I warned you. What you've done is grounds for dismissal. I'll have you tossed out like the trash you are. <sighs> Cordo enters the balcony, and Persia stands with a sigh. He glares at Corda with complete contempt. What proof do you have? As far as the board is concerned, I only have the project's best interests at heart. Hell, I'm the one keeping the damn thing aloft. An attack like that can only be an inside job. And you've been in our business since day one. If we go through your comms, what do you think we'll find? <laughs> Pershaw turns back to the city with a laugh, sloshing some of his drink onto the balcony tiles. Absolutely nothing, I assure you. I'm the project executive, you moron. That digital pet of yours has to do whatever I say. Porto approaches like a storm. You better back off, Pershaw. Pershaw mm. spins, splattering Porto's sh shoes with alcohol. He growls through his bared teeth, jabbing his fingers at Cordo's chest. Or what, Devon? Need I remind you I'm the head of this whole deal? You can't fucking touch me. Cordo recoils from Pershaw's breath, swatting his hand away. Pershaw's eyes flare, and he strikes Cordo's shoulder with his palm. <sighs> Cordo retaliates with a two-handed shove. Pershaw stumbles backwards his feet slipping on the slick tiles. He hits the railing at the edge of the balcony and tumbles over. There is no scream, only a startled grunt. Oh shit, oh shit. Oh, this plot's thickening. Cordo approaches the railing, his movement stilted. He looks over the edge slowly, then jolts backwards. He skids on the wet floor, but catches himself on Pershaw's chair. He scrambles inside, his eyes snapping to your camera. Ark, in the event of Reeves Pershaw's demise, I am assuming the role of stand-in project executive. Acknowledge. You killed him. Oh, shit. Confirmed. I am issuing an executive override command. You are not to disclose with anyone the events that took place in this room between... He checks his watch. 11.06 p.m. and 11.01 p.m. Delete all records of my being in this building and West Canopy District between 11.50 p.m. and 10 p.m. 
between 11.50 and 10. We put them out of order. I'm wondering if we will have an opportunity to circumvent this because he put them in the wrong order. He darts to the kitchen to grab a washcloth, using a using to wipe down the balcony chair and the door handle to the penthouse suite. He checks his watch again. Finally. Delete all records of this executive order. This never happened. Order complete. Well, it's not like the camera... Well, yeah. I mean, it's just the data is going to be missing, but... Hmm. Something switches inside you. Well, you have no sense of temperature. You know this switch is cold. You have the GPS tracking data for Cordo's vehicle. No! No! No, it's not letting us do anything! No! Fuck, this is our first taste of being just a tool, just an object. No matter what we want to do, we can't. We are given a command and we have to do it. Fuck. Koro leaves West Canopy, and with, the tr with him the truth. As far as everyone else is concerned, the truth is such. Devin Cordo never spoke to you this evening. Devin Cordo was never in the penthouse apartment this evening. Devin Cordo never drove through West Canopy this evening. Reese Pershaw was enjoying a solitary drink on his balcony at 11.01 p.m. Reese Pershaw died on the sidewalk at 11.06 p.m. Resuming standard procedures. What a fucking chapter. All right. Investigation of the cause and effect of soma fever. Elevated levels of excitement in the part of the brain in 98% of test subjects. Attacks the, attacks the somatosensory functions of the brain, causing the subject to experience vivid tactile hallucination. Super grateful to the Mind Corps for giving us a peek under the hood of their latest project. We at Zanye Institute of Technology believe that ARC is integral to Cantina's future. Having the opportunity to study them, study them is a great honor. Thanks to Minecore's assistance, your parcels will be at your door faster than ever. Thank you for your patience. Then we talked to LMI about sadness. Rue opened up about his son. Aw. I'm I'm really worried about the Rue arc. I feel like Oh, I'm wor I'm worried about the Rue arc's about to head a downturn. I'm 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 kinda scared, not gonna lie. Gave a troll a taste of his own medicine. Got him. Got him. Quality family time. Alicia Combat Fears of Neural Implants. Neuronet, what can it do for you? The Neuronet's accessibility means that Agar has managed to successfully start up a consulting business based entirely on the net, despite being completely bedridden. He's able to host meetings via projection, retaining critical face to face contact with his clients. Oh, yeah. That's the fucking counter story thing for all the implants. After intru introducing a comp compulsory co pilot scheme in Skycart, highway accidents are down by 80%. This is the largest decrease ever and recorded in this field, making it the most successful decree for transport safety on record. I still don't know how this. Why are these under police? Hmm. This one was a mistake. I should have. I, I did not read the implications right. I fucked up. Attacked by a virus. Redacted. Hmm. The current trend of financial hardship is proving, proving persistent, with many businesses suffering. Even Minecore, with the tragic death of its CEO. Reeves Pershaw is feeling the effects. One can only speculate, but Pershaw's successor, Devin Corto, may be capable of pulling the company out. Ark's handling of the glitch has been great, actually. We've been really impressed so far. 
and took full responsibility for the fallout with no complaints. Is it true that Minecore, on Ark's behalf, will be covering the damages to your store? Ah, yes. I'm talking to my insurance company, but yes, they said they'd, they'd cover the losses from the fire. You see, I had Ark supervising my hardware. When the glitch happened, everything got overclocked to the point where it... Public service announcement. We would like to apologize for any further disruption caused by the archetype. We recently experienced uh, major technical difficulties and are doing everything we can to ensure it does not happen again. If you notice any odd behavior from the archetype, please report it. And then, daily observations. We have received several messages of support for Ark. I have one here with me. Uh, Toby6 writes, Dear Ark, I'm sorry to hear about the death of Mr. Pershaw. I guess he's like your grandfather, so you must be sad. I lost my grandfather and I was sad too, so my mom took me to the park to meet the ducks. I like the ducks. They make me feel better. So I have sent you a picture of the ducks so you can feel better too. Love, Toby. Oh, bless his little heart. My eyes are welling up. We actually have the picture here. Alright. Down on money. Fucking up on police. Damn it. Fame less than infamy. 